What is SCP? Tell me. Tell me. In an undisclosed location, a woman oh. is being tortured. The oh, methods no. of her abuse are too horrific to be described, and her torturers are death row prison inmates, the absolute worst of the worst. <laughs> the animation in the voice, like, wee -ho, wee -ho, wee -ho. This woman's torture is constant, and procedures oh, are put oh, no. in place to make sure she never what becomes accustomed about? to the pain. If Why? ever her torturers express sympathy toward their victim, Why are their they superiors doing will have them removed and replaced. If they try to rescue her or put her out of her misery, they themselves will be shot without hesitation. Oh, the woman being tortured is known only as SCP-231-7, and worst of all, she's pregnant. The what? cause of her eternal torture? The SCP Foundation. Whoa, and wow. you'll be shocked to learn that when all is said and done, these are the good guys, because what? if they ever stop their They're brutal the treatment guys. of SCP-231-7, a treatment codenamed Procedure 110 Montauk, she'll give birth to a creature that will destroy the world as we know it. This is just one of the many examples of the objects and entities under the watchful eye. Wait. They didn't explain anything about that. Why are they torturing her? Uh, is that gonna prevent her from giving birth when she's tortured how is that gonna stop any of this That's... <laughs> i don't get it eyes of the scp foundation a mysterious group yes. that strives to achieve SCP greater foundation. good by any means necessary and we do mean any what you're about to hear is above necessary. classified, mm -hmm. and be warned, oh, what is classified. heard can oh, no. never be unheard. Unless, of course, the Foundation oh. gets its hands on you. Oh. So, what is the SCP Foundation? Well, I hope they don't find me. <laughs> I'm not dangerous. Yes, I'm sure they don't care. No, it's fine. They won't care about the uh, banana snake. In the most basic sense, the group's mission statement Secure, is right contain, there in protect. the SCP acronym. Secure, contain, protect. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. the task of the Foundation to, in their own words, contain anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. Things that don't make sense. Things that uh -huh. don't belong. Things that simply <gasps> don't fit in with our perception of reality. And some things that pose an existential threat to all human life. They refer threat. to these contained anomalies as SCPs, each of which is accompanied by a number. This is a broad <laughs> umbrella, as an SCP can range from from benign or even actively helpful benign. to downright apocalyptic if ever released. Benign or could be helpful, they would still contain them. If you're like a little bit strange, you will be contained. Hmm. Huh. I'm starting to question this foundation. Mm. Much like the infamous Men in Black often reported by witnesses in, in connection with alien sightings, the <gasps> Foundation works in secret like to in maintain black. a sense of normalcy at all costs, knowing the chaos it would cause if any of the anomalies they're harboring ever become public. Take for oh. example SCP-500. To the untrained eye, the object is just an unassuming prescription pill bottle, oh, it the is. kind you'd see in medicine cabinets the world over. But the pills normal, in this humble uh, bottle medicine. are unlike any earthly medicine. They can cure it? quite literally anything, from what? cancer to a cold so within about two it? hours. But at the time of this writing, there are only 47 pills left. The power <gasps> to cure all disease, a oh. privilege denied to even the richest and most powerful in society. A veritable holy grail. Can you imagine the violence and horror that would break out in trying to obtain them if their existence ever became public? I mean... I guess so. Miracle cure for any sickness? That's gonna sold for a gazillion of monies for sure. But at the same time, isn't it better to just study how the medicine does it? and how you could reconstruct it again i don't know there's only 47 pills so someone actually tried it that's why they knew huh but um, i don't know what to feel about that that seems like a good thing i mean anything could be a bad thing in the wrong hands that's true but at the same time can't people just uh, replicate it? Surely that's possible, right? And what if they secure it? But what if somebody at the foundation was like, um, they're related to someone who has an incurable disease? What, what if they just sneak one tablet out? Like, oh, I just need this one. And then they were like, well, what if uh, there's an emergency in the future? Might as well get them all and then replace them with a different tablet. Yeah. 
someone is gonna do it. In public, the SCP Foundation works in secret because the collective mind of society just couldn't handle the knowledge of what oh. they're dealing with. They work with the approval of all world governments, effectively the truth placing them is above hard international to law. Essentially, there is no human authority above the Foundation because without the Foundation's work, there would be no humans left to govern. Oh. To understand the basic oh, no. operations of this above top secret organization, we need to delve a little further into that secure, contain, protect slogan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Secure refers Tell to the Foundation's practice practice of Tell constant me. global surveillance and observation in order to detect and intercept anomalous activity before it can interact with civilians or rival groups. Mm -hmm, Contain mm -hmm. involves preventing the effects or influence Wait. of the- Wait, does that mean they have uh, cutting edge technology to detect where the SCP is? What if it comes in contact with someone else? Or is it like normal stuff that happens in- um real life where they are only made aware of it because somebody reports it because somebody already made contact how do they know where to find them hmm? is it the technology or is it because someone reported them mm, i need to know anomaly from spreading by either in their own words relocating concealing or dismantling such anomalies or by suppressing or preventing oh, no. public dissemination of knowledge thereof the latter can involve practices such as oh. using advanced chemical compounds or technologies to delete and then rewrite <gasps> the memories of infected civilians or even committing mass murder if necessary oh, no. to cover their tracks. The SCP cover Foundation has in the no, past the wiped out entire towns of no. innocent civilians to prevent dangerous information about the SCP spreading beyond their control. They can take lives at their own discretion and oh consider almost God. any crime to be permissible when the alternative is what? Armageddon. And finally, protect pertains to all operations meant to protect Holy mankind moly. from the SCPs, up to and including neutralizing and destroying them when possible. Ooh. Some SCPs, such What's as the that? infamous SCP-682, a nigh-indestructible genocidal reptilian, have proved to be almost impossible to destroy. Research is ongoing in many cases, as the Foundation explores any and all possible methods of reducing the threat of more dangerous SCPs, in order to help them categorize the thousand- How were they able to catch it? It's indestructible. Oh, well, I guess it's hard for them to destroy it, but they could catch it. Okay, okay, okay. Since of strange and horrifying anomalies under their watch, the Foundation has created a system that organizes the SCPs based on the difficulty of containing them. The first of the primary object classes is SAFE, pertaining safe, to SCPs yes. that require little, if any, resources to safely and properly contain. Examples mm -hmm. include the previously mentioned SCP-500 pill bottle. That's considered SAFE! That's like the lowest, the, the lowest security risk of them all. I told you, it's possible. Someone might just sneak in there and uh, get the pills. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with these. And SCP-999, oh, a what benevolent is it? blob of gelatinous it's orange matter. SCP-999 has a playful, almost dog-like personality. and causes feelings of happiness and euphoria in Aww. whoever or whatever it touches. It's even Aww, been used by the happiness. Foundation as a pacification tool That's to so reduce cute. aggression in other SCPs. The Aww. second primary object Blubba. class is Euclid, happiness which refers Blubba. to any anomaly that requires more resources to contain completely or where containment isn't always reliable. This is the broadest SCP class and the majority of sentient, sapient, or autonomous anomalies sentient. fall into this category. Sapien. A Euclid, Euclid SCP might oh, be something as huge, sprawling, and bizarre as SCP-3008. This SCP appears to be a kind of anomalous pocket dimension hidden inside pocket an IKEA dimension. superstore, which is not oh. only significantly larger on the inside by approximately 10 kilometers, but also contains bizarre, faceless an entities store. which can become hostile oh. under the right conditions. A Euclid SCP That's can also creepy. be something as seemingly innocuous as SCP-294. Which How do they capture a room? Restore, How? which is How did they capture the room? It's not only significantly larger on the inside, by the? approximately 10 I, I don't understand it. but also contains bizarre, faceless entities which can become hostile under the right conditions. A Euclid SCP can also be something as seemingly innocuous as- Oh, it's Euclid, because it's like look, Euclidean geometry. It's something to do with math that maybe I'm too dumb to explain, you know? Because Euclidean geometry is what we can perceive? No, no, no. It's like Euclidean geometry is what 
most maths is based on. Non-Euclidean geometry is gonna bend your mind. That's all I know. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, moving on. SCP-294, which appeared to the untrained eye to be a standard coffee vending machine. However, unlike any other coffee machine, the machine. input system on SCP-294 is a QWERTY, oh, QWERTY. keyboard. Oh, this is... SCP can manifest any liquid typed in on the keyboard, from Ooh. standard drinks like coffee and beer to more esoteric compounds like, like sulfuric cool. acid and disease-infected uh, human yeah, yeah, yeah. blood. Of During course, of extensive course. tests, one subject <laughs> requested the perfect drink and was given an odorless, lavender-colored liquid. After consuming the liquid, the subject went into a state of euphoric shock. The subject oh. later committed suicide, oh, leaving no. a note which read, I'm sorry, but at this point, every Everything's just one big letdown. Oh. Sadly, subjects dying oh, during no. tests is not uncommon. The oh, SCP no. Foundation essentially has mm. limitless resources, including access to countless disposable workers and test subjects. The most common of these are so-called D-Class personnel, which are death row personnel. inmates conscripted for mm -hmm. the purposes of often lethal SCP experimentation oh, no. or containment. The it's next primary object on. class is Keter, described by the Foundation Keter. as anomalies that are exceedingly difficult to contain consistently or reliably, with containment mm. procedures often being extensive and complex. This can either be due to being an extremely Ooh, volatile hole. and dangerous anomaly or just one that seems to defy known laws of physics or reality, mm. and is thus extremely difficult to understand or contain. Like what? The SCP Foundation has a vast number of secret like facilities across the globe, and while the Keter class SCPs like are not hole. nearly as common as the Euclid class, they consume a great deal more resources to safely contain. One particularly terrifying Keter class oh, SCP is examples. SCP-354, okay, colloquially thing. known by the Foundation employees as the Blood Pond. This SCP Blood is a pond. large pool of non-biological red liquid discovered in North Canada that appears to be a kind of red interdimensional liquid. primordial soup. What makes this SCP soup? particularly hard to contain, as well as extremely frightening, is the fact that hostile entities periodically emerge from the pond and must be neutralized oh, before they can escape the containment area. These creatures. entities have included a floating black sphere that Ooh, can fire concentrated beams of deadly radiation, a 15-foot tall reptilian humanoid that seemed immune to gunfire, Ooh, and a homicidal humanoid. metallic humanoid nicknamed the Terminator, oh, Terminator by Foundation personnel. Yeah. The most highly classified primary object class of all is Thaumiel, which consists of Thaumiel? SCPs used to contain other SCPs. Oh. This can range from SCP-7000-J, a book of... Oh, that's how they captured the things that cannot be held by hands, maybe. Maybe that's how they captured the IKEA store. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry for pausing. Latin incantations bound in dinosaur skin hands. that can Edward summon various hands. other entities, all the way to SCP-4006, which is the entire state of Massachusetts. Oh, Thaumiel class SCP. Massachusetts is an SCP. <laughs> I didn't know that. Holy moly! These are the most bizarre and esoteric of the anomalies dealt with by the Foundation, but thankfully, they often pose less of an active threat than many of the Euclid or Keter class SCPs. Finally, as mentioned earlier, sometimes the SCP Foundation deems an anomaly too dangerous to contain and just Ooh. needs to destroy it entirely. A destroy. terrifying example of a neutralized Terminator. SCP and a perfect illustration for just how strange and abstract the anomalies dealt with by the Foundation can be is SCP-4991. This SCP manifested as a series of bizarre posts across Apocalypse. a number of websites about an apocalyptic event that seemed to be occurring on a different layer of reality and seemed mm. to indicate that a kind of deadly parasitic and carnivorous In insect reality. was spreading like wildfire across the globe causing oh. death and destruction in their wake. Oh, no. The SCP Foundation neutralized SCP-4991 by tracking down, containing, and erasing all infected posts across oh. the internet before it could spread too far. Who it was the post that's the SCP? Who knows what would have happened if the Foundation hadn't intervened. As is often oh. the case with SCPs, it's probably best just it not to think about it. The actual structure of the SCP Foundation is surprisingly transparent, with personnel classification levels ranging from Class A to Class E. Class A personnel are considered vital to the strategic operations of the Foundation and therefore are not allowed to be in direct contact in any way with any of the SCPs due to potential risks. Class B personnel are vital to local Foundation operations mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. SCP test sites 
and are only permitted to be in contact with SCPs deemed hey, to be hey, relatively hey. safe. Hey, Class touching C the personnel are field agents happiness. that have far more direct contact with the SCPs and often put themselves at great risk in doing so. Oh. Class D personnel, as previously mentioned, are essentially cannon the fodder subjects. thrown into the jaws the of death subjects. to discover more about the more dangerous anomalies on the SCP roster. And finally, Class E personnel are personnel that have been already exposed to the potentially dangerous effects of an unknown anomaly. Class oh. E personnel are placed into quarantine until they're deemed fit to return to work or terminated, depending on terminated. the results of their observations. In terms of actual roles in the SCP Foundation, the top of the pyramid are the O5 council members, Class A personnel who have total. Oh my god, this is so much information in one video. I'm not gonna remember all that. Clearance and oversee all Foundation operations. Below them are site directors, who manage the various physical Foundation facilities across the globe and report back to the O5 Council. On site, researchers and containment specialists mm -hmm. work together to better understand and combat the anomalies being housed at their particular facility. They're kept safe by the hard hey, work of veteran like security and tactical response officers, ready to lay down their lives to prevent more dangerous SCPs from ever escaping and reaching developed areas. In the event that an SCP does breach <gasps> containment and escape or a new one is discovered, is field operatives are dispatched what's by what's the what's Foundation what's to get the situation under control. These will consist also. of field agents who already operate across the globe and specialized mobile task force operatives. The SCP Foundation has eyes and ears everywhere. Their organization is influential and is embedded in every mm -hmm. facet of society, ready to strike and suppress an emerging anomaly before any ripples of its existence can reach the wider world. Oh, that's how they discover the SCP, because they're everywhere. Oh, they have agents everywhere. They could be among us. Oh, among us. Even here, we've only really scratched the surface of the SCP Foundation's extensive and frankly Is an Among Us SCP. <laughs> Mind-boggling global and historical operations. There's plenty of information about the Foundation online, many of which people assume is pure fiction. But wouldn't that be the perfect cover for a real <gasps> secret organization <gasps> wanting to cover its tracks? It's all coming together. As the quote says, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he doesn't exist. Ultimately, the SCP Foundation is on the side of mankind. It's real. But that doesn't mean it'll always act in our best interests. After all, if it means preserving the peace and getting another anomaly under wraps, the Foundation won't hesitate to terminate you and everyone mm. you know without a second thought. Whether you want to face off against the Foundation itself or one of the anomalies they wish to contain is ultimately up to you, but trust us, neither would end well for you. Oh, <gasps> speaking of oh, which, no. there's another SCP we forgot to mention that's quite Why literally that? unspeakable. SCP-2521 is a creature that's made and entirely of strange black tendrils that envelop Ooh. and smother the creature's prey. No written records of the creature exist outside of pictograms because it immediately attacks and consumes any information produced Ooh. about it. This includes speech, as the creature will appear it and consume everything. anyone who- Oh god. Oh no. It's- oh, It's oh no. here. It's here. Help me! Ah! Pay no mind to what you just witnessed. I, the infographics show oh, narrator, no. am perfectly fine. We now recommend you watch Russian Sleep Experiment Explained and how a meme, Slender Man, became real. Pay no more thought to what you've just oh, seen. Oh no! Though. Thank you. They got to him. Well, that was an interesting explanation, but I'm not gonna remember <laughs> all the stuff that was said. All I know is um, they are a foundation and they uh, secure, contain, and protect. Yes. Yo, they, they protect you from the horrors of this life and of this world before they get to you. Dun dun dun! Okay. Like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want me to react to next. Any SCPs that's your favorite? I don't know. Do you have a particular SCP story that you want me to look into? Comment down below. Okay. See ya. This is the ending song. Ending song. This is the ending song.